Hi, I'm Roy Torgio for Deskcase Corporation and our mobile reliability experience vehicle with today's tip from the truck. We're going to show you today the easy way on how to transfer oil into a system without adding to its contamination level. On average, oil gets twice as dirty every time you move it without filtering. So the whole secret to being able to keep the oil clean is to filter whenever possible and never expose the lubricant to atmosphere. Storage and transfer containers should be outfitted with a desiccant breather that will prevent the moisture and dirt from entering. They should also have quick disconnects so that the fluid can be transferred without opening the container. There should be matching quick disconnects on the equipment so that we can get the fluid in once again without exposing it to atmosphere and the equipment should be sealed and outfitted with a desiccant breather as well. Before we start filling the system, I want you to notice that there's a considerable amount of oil still in the bottom of this unit. This demo unit was built to show what goes on with the vast majority of equipment out there in that it has been drained as much as possible, but there's a lot of oil and contaminants that can still be in the bottom. So it means we're even going to have to filter the system after we put the new oil in it. So let's go ahead and get the filter guard hooked up and fill it up. Okay, so now that we have our machine filled, we want to remove the suction hose from our drum and put it down on the drain port of the unit that we want to filter. Before we put that on there though, we want to make sure we use a lint-free cloth and clean the fittings before we uh, attach it so that we do not add any additional contaminants. We're going to use the same mat that we use whenever we filter new oil and we want to turn it over about 10 times. So with this unit being about 10 gallons and we have a 5 gallon a minute pump, we want to run it for about 20 minutes. In our next segment, we're going to show you the way to take an easy oil sample and an easy way to filter oil that's already in service. Thanks for watching.